Yo, what's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today's video is a little gameplay of Izanami. But before you even watch that, I just want to speak a little bit about how I think Izanami is in the meta with competitive, with ranked, casuals, all that good stuff. When it came to ADCs and the duo lane, currently it's just really one god that's good in the role. It's Jing Wei. She's safe. She farms very easily. She scales so hard. And there's just very few weaknesses in her kit. You compare it to the gods like Cern very not safe even though he does decent damage he's just very easy to kill Danza Burrow just a really weak kit like they switched up his passive which gave him strength and extra gold and then they took it away and gave him minions but then part of his kit was power and his passive and then he just lost that so he feels a little bit worse on her is meh like at best he's meh it's like him or CERN are like the top two I think Iza is the first hunter that will actually contest Jing Wei because she can just dominate laning phase so easily and invade purple buffs that there is maybe a, a way that she gets played in competitive also. She has this niche that no other ADC fills. And I think with the plus ones she's got, intelligence on her one and then intelligence on her ultimate, the bleed damage, on top of being able to use abilities in her invis and it doesn't break that invis. And then on top of that, her passive now is much smoother and it doesn't go as low so you get more value the more middle part of your health bar you're at so she just has a lot more value in her kit i think with the current builds braggies bracers i think she actually has a really strong build currently and maybe she's not better than jingwei but i think there's a, a very possible world that jingwei is given up because we can just play izanami we'll give them that character we'll take this character and then we'll pair it with the zeus or we'll pair it with the kepri or something like that we had a big Part of the tournament last weekend for the, the the way to vegas the land to vegas whatever it's called tournament to vegas something like that whatever it's called saw a whole lot of jing wei and then outside of that it was like cern and on her a little bit and basically no danza we actually saw danza jungle uh, and i don't think we saw a single danza adc is an army now going into next week which is the final part so we'll actually see the teams that are going to vegas so if you want to watch ne next weekend's the weekend to watch to see which teams eyes on team risk for eu and then NA, it's probably still Cowabunga, like the Paul team. That team is just really good. But guys, the best part about EU versus NA is we can see there's these different styles. One from EU, one from NA, and how they're going to play with each other. Play with each other. How they're going to play versus each other. Really exciting. Makes me really interested to see what is going to happen. And this is a gameplay with what I think is going to be a very good build on her, if not her best build. But yeah, enjoy the video. Careful, Kirby. Kirby, careful. Kirby, you're taking minion damage. Is it so small? Yeah, is it so tiny? And Kepri's still as thick as a motherfucker. Left 
On Thanksgiving, we eating good? Yo, can we watch that, Xander? You want to go to that game, actually? Wait, that would actually be so fun. Going to watch Cooper and Tommy live. Bobby and watching stuff together? No, I meant like in person. I wouldn't want to watch it like in a Discord call with you. That'd be boring. I have to hear you whine about how the Bears are losing. How it's the same thing every year. How it doesn't matter who you have. You're just going to fucking lose. Doesn't matter what quarterback you have. The organization is just... Ass. Sorry, what were we talking about? I I'll be honest though. I thought this Bears team was going to be way better than they are. I was sold that this was going to be a team that was competing for a playoff spot. I was fooled, just like, just like Bears fans were. Is that raw solo? Has he got the OP build? Deki Mashta! One more wave! One more wave! <laughs> I feel for the Bears though, because the whole world recognizes that Jerry Jones is ruining the Cowboys, but the Bears are just bad. Org is a whole nutshell owner, apparently. I think it's like the Jets org, where it's just like, they're fucked. But don't you think there's something to be said about best available player? I used to believe that you should draft for need and not for who is the like I I, I don't know because this is this is me speaking from a, a place of I don't know because I don't play pay enough attention to college but it was there a lineman that they could have drafted over uh Odunze that is because like alt was gone and I know alt was supposed to be really good I think this character is so good. I'm really excited to see this character in comp. You're always speaking from a place from I don't know. No, I'm I literally know everything except college sports. Slave. 
Be careful. The Pyromancer has arrived. Your left tower is under attack. Completed. Teams refuse to acknowledge the line and to me if you're gonna build any type of successful this is where you start not saying skill guys when I put the big dudes but yeah I mean Minnesota's always been good when we have a good offensive line. We had like when Khalil was good, Matt Khalil was good, when we had like Phil Lodeholt. Like we had a really good offensive line. We were such a good team. And then our line went to shit. I, need, I don't need to. <laughs> 89. <laughs> I mean, I do think a lot of teams should go back to like left tackle. I think in terms of value placed by organizations has fallen down a lot. And now it's like wide receivers are like the number two. Like it's the same thing with the Bengals, bro. That offensive line is dog shit. I mean, if you, if you think about it, though, the teams that win championships are the teams that have really good offensive and defensive lines. Like, the Chiefs have a phenomenal offensive and defensive line. 13-0, the Bizanami keeps them busy. I mean, even then, it, it seems like the Patriots, when they were a dynasty, Vince Wilfork, like, they, they paid their big men. Um, fuck, who's their old guard? Fuck, what's his name? Oh, uh, Matt Burke for the Baltimore Ravens, too? Yeah. Such a thick fucking wall. Song to nine. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Happy. But like the dynasties we've seen, Pittsburgh's another one. Pittsburgh has a... When Pittsburgh was more of a dynasty. Offensive line. You think Terry Bradshaw was that good? Well, Terry Bradshaw was good, but like not like GOAT status. We're winning four. Terry Bradshaw was not GOAT status. Oh. 
you teleport from so far away? So he's back on smite? Oh, I mean, smite's viewers aren't doing very good. Hurt's sitting at like 400 viewers on smite. But I'm, I was actually thinking about it more after um, Kurt talked about a Haddix um, view botting. Do you think people change who they want to watch because it's Smite Two instead of Smite One? Because like Kurt was probably the biggest Smite streamer by a mile, but like. Smite 2 is a different game. There's people that maybe don't want to watch Smite 2, so maybe Kurt's just not the biggest Smite streamer anymore and it's going to move on to like Haddix or whoever it is. Sweet Caroline's not top three. Overrated. Mr. Brightside and Piano Man are phenomenal, but no way we're including Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline, bum, bum, bum. You guys have no opinion on that though? On like if people change who they want from Smite 1 to Smite 2? Like there's no carryover? I have not enjoyed Smite 2 myself with his downgrade to watch him play at this point. Hmm. Why? Why specifically play? Watch I kind of get because it's a rep uh, there's a lot of repetitive gods. Is it really just that there's not enough gods to keep you fulfilled and you'd rather just play smite? He goes 18. Okay, shut up, man. I played Zeus with Mirden early and I fucking lost. I got ran down by a Choco game. Useless Zeus build. I thought he was sprinting away because he heard me. Wait, is that a tax speed cuckoo? No, I'm, I'm just a fucking idiot. It could 100% just be people are just tired of it. Oh, I'm cooking him. Get over here, Zeusy. Give me that Zeusy. Give me that Zussy. Look at how OP that fucking ability is now. I love that they made it useful. Who's next? Oh, okay. Okay, shut up. This auto should not go through walls. <laughs> 